our group worked with the FGCU Food Forest. Throughout our projects at the Food Forest, our group aimed to address Sustainable Development Goal 13, Climate Action. The Climate Action Goal relates to mitigating global warming impacts and contributing to global efforts to decrease rising temperatures. According to the United Nations, without transformative action starting now and within this decade to reduce greenhouse gas emissions deeply and rapidly in all sectors, the 1.5 degrees Celsius target will be at risk and with it the lives of more than 3 billion people. Climate change policies and practices need to be implemented into all areas of life to combat global warming. We felt that FGCU's food force aligned with our SDG by sustainably producing food with a minimal carbon footprint. The large-scale agricultural industry is responsible for 10% of the total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. Not only does this industry produce significant emissions, but it also pollutes and harms ecosystems by utilizing chemical fertilizers to promote high crop yields. My name is Marco Acosta. I'm the manager here at the FGCU Food Forest. So the Food Forest exists uh, for the students. It is a student-run, uh, student-led uh, gardening site. And so we have about uh, a little bit more than half an acre of uh, mature growth trees, um, root zone plants, and everything in between. Uh, we try to uh, use permaculture-based principles to grow food um, and to, to grow uh, plants to support our ability to grow food. Uh, we're working on, 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 on making sure we have a lot of annuals coming up. Uh, we donate <clears throat> as much as we can to the FGCU Food Pantry, um, and so students help us do all of that. So Hurricane Ian um, caused a lot of damage. Uh, we, the Hurricane Ian took about 50% of our canopy, and so we are working on getting some of that canopy back uh, by, one, practicing um, you know, ar arboral culture techniques to our current trees uh, to get them uh, back to the way they were before Ian and uh, eventually also buying new species to put in the food forest to augment what we have here and augment our ability to, to uh, grow food as well. The food forest uses sustainable gardening methods to focus on the beneficial relationship of plants and organisms to support plant growth without dependence on chemical fertilizer. Outside of the garden, students can dispose of organic food waste in the compost pile which is used to naturally fertilize soil and applies the zero waste principle. To support local community gardens such as the FGCU Food Forest, many hands are needed to upkeep, sustain, and expand these practices. We assisted Marco by performing maintenance to the garden, planting annuals and herbs, constructing a trellis for visual appeal and to house finding plants, creating an herb spiral based on permaculture techniques, and repairing the food forest sign. These efforts aim to support the sustainable practices of food growth, which also serves to combat local food scarcity, furthering the impact of the garden has on the community. The garden supports sustainable food cultivation on a small scale, but with greater support by large-scale agricultural practices, efforts to reduce global warming can be initiated. Our group objectives were to perform maintenance on the food forest and to improve the garden by adding structures for visual appeal and to accommodate plants. We successfully achieved our goals, but we were faced with roadblocks. We did not anticipate struggling to source materials needed for the trellis, which ultimately hindered us from meeting our personal time goals. While this postponed the trellis construction, we were able to continue maintenance on the garden, including planting additional plants, watering plants, clearing overgrown areas, mulching, and sharpening tools. We also successfully reconstructed the herb spiral as a group without any problems arising. When addressing the complex and global issues such as climate change, taking action may feel daunting or be a source of discouragement since there is so much uncertainty surrounding the problem. In Hope is the Embrace of the Unknown, Rebecca Solnit writes that hope locates itself in the premises that we don't know what will happen and that this, in the spaciousness of uncertainty is the room to act. While individuals and communities may feel intimidated to take on such an unpredictable endeavor, collective action is necessary to combat global warming and must be prioritized. The food forest sustainably grows food to counter the large-scale agriculture practices, which promotes our community to support local gardens and source ethically grown produce, lowering the carbon footprint. During our time at the Food Forest, we developed and deepened our skills in team building, resource delegation, agricultural management, general maintenance, as well as in construction techniques. Some of us also gained invaluable leadership skills from taking charge and leading the different projects we had done with the Food Forest. 
We would encourage anyone looking to live more sustainably to get involved and support the Food Force to help give back to your fellow students and local FGCU community.